Hello everybody, welcome back to another video today. We, instead of playing 2K17 like we always do, today I'm playing W2K16 because of one reason. The W2K Showcase, you which is which is Stone Cold, which I've already done th four of them. But in this time, I'm going to do it all, so I'm going to be quiet, let you guys hear. To display one's talents from the unforgettable moments. Plus, there might be a little bit of cussing because Stone Cold Steve Austin's a little bit of a rough guy. It's Stone Cold. I'm not skipping anything, I'm gonna let all of it go by. Cutscenes or anything. That's what Stone Cold's called for. Ron Pillman and stunning Steve Austin. But despite his success, no one saw a superstar. And when injuries sidelined Steve, the future looked bleak. Next day I got a FedEx and I was fired. I was like, I kinda sucked. Frustration took over. There's nothing going my way because the politics kept the biggest potential superstar in wrestling on the ground. Frustration turned to anger. We're gonna put the U.S. title on you, and then we're gonna take you here, and then you're the number one contender, so then you got this world title shot. Well, all that's never happened. And anger created opportunity. The ringmaster seems to really have it all. Also known as the ringmaster. Austin would enter WWE as the ringmaster, but wasted no time turning himself into a more ruthless character. His moment was finally here. It's on the bigger and better things after King of the Ring, after I win it all. And nothing would be the same again. Okay, looks like the match is about to start in just a second. Just don't go. The guys won't be as good because it's 2 day 16. The one I played was 2 day 17. One hour time limit. Don't really think that matters. Because okay, so do you, you're about to see what happened to Jake Snake, which is my enemy in this match. It's kind of <laughs> brutal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, King of the Ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin awaits that man, and King that man, Jake the Snake Roberts. Earlier tonight, took on Vader. It was not a good outing for the Snake. He got squashed in more ways than one. Watch this big Vader bomb. It's lucky there wasn't just a great spot left in the ring. 450 pounds. Doing internal damage. To what degree we don't know, but Jake Roberts. That bag has a snake in it. Roberts didn't even get his, his reptile. His reptile bag up on the apron of the ring. This is when Stone Cold was healed, aka the bad guy, pretty much. 
Now it says, get Jake to critical damage at the top corner. I can do that. Oh, and if you guys are really wondering what I, I, um, what I record, you can always tell it's not one of the things that connect into your Xbox. What I use is my phone and then my big tripod I got here. Hit him with the stunner. I can do that. <laughs> Close on. That was not a choke slam. What the heck? He said nailed him the choke slam. I'm um, hello. I didn't even do a choke slam. Bang. Somehow he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Oh my! Stick that middle finger up, Stone Cold. That's what you do all day. No, that's the stunner. King of the Ring Finals continues here. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Ah, stunner! Stunner! With a stunner of Jake the Snake Roberts. One. And the two, referee counts three. as three. And Austin Pretty simple, ain't that long? It's my shit. It's the cussing that's long. The winner of this bout. It's where I said it was going to get a little rough. For any of them that's like. I think you say younger. Which most of them are. Because most of them are in my class. There you see Stone Cold Steve Austin. But I'm saying, if you're locked up, um, you so if you're like, awesome like fourth grade so under me, you probably don't watch. I want to see really young kids. I want your parents to let you. What is next for Stone Cold Steve Austin? Is this? It's down here at the cutscene. Yeah, for Stone Cold. I wonder if this is the beginning of bigger things for Stone Cold Steve Austin. It is. Ladies and gentlemen, the fourth prestigious King of the Ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin, an incredible victory. The first thing I want to be done is to get that piece of crap out of my ring. Don't just get him out of the ring, get him out of the WWE. Because I'm through, son, without a shadow of a doubt, you ain't got what it takes anymore. You sit there and you thump your Bible and you say your prayers and it didn't get you anywhere. Talk about your Psalms, talk about John 3.16. Austin 3.16 says I just whipped your ass. Come on, that's not necessary. All he's got to do is go buy him a cheap bottle of and try to dig back some of that courage he had in his pride. As the king of the ring, I'm serving notice to every one of the WWE superstars. I don't give a damn what they are. They're all on the list, and that's Stone Cold's list, and I'm fixing to start running through all of them. As, as far as this championship match is considered, son, I don't give a damn if it's Davey Moore Smith or Shawn Michaels. Steve Austin's time has come. And when I get the shot, you're looking at the next WWE champion. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Obviously anything but humble, the fourth prestigious king of the ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. That was for beating him. I, th 
Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. And it's the king of the ring. I'm serving notice to every one of the superstars. They're all on the list. And I'm fixing to start running through all of them. Steve Austin's time has come. And that's the bottom line. Because Stone Cold said so. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Cheap shot. <laughs> I don't know if I have time for another match. I think I will. Stone Cold is the best there is. As Stone Cold continued to scratch names off his superstar hit list, there was one name that had eluded Austin's sights. I'd like to use this chance to issue a challenge against one Bret the Hitman Hart. Bret Hart had been absent for the dawn of 316, and the man who had been raising hell all over WWE. If you put the letter S in front of Hitman, you've had my exact opinion of Bret Hart. I'm the best there is. I don't pay attention to a lot of talk. I'm the best there was. Especially when it comes from you. And I'm the best there ever will be. The Hitman found himself in unfamiliar territory. The crosshairs of the Texas Rattlesnake. The one thing that's been missing has been me. But the excellence of execution has never been one to back down from a challenge. In the Survivor Series, I will face Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're never going to get through with Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're going to have to kill me first, son. And that's the bottom line, and it's the truth. If I can beat Stone Cold, then I will beat Stone Cold. The rest is easy pickings for the hitman. Son, if you think Stone Cold Steve Austin is a stepping stone, well, what's the first step? Because it's a doozy. Will Bret Hart be able to prove once and for all that he is the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be? We'll see who kicks whose ass. Or will Austin 316 stomp the hitman into exile? You ain't got what it takes anymore. I love the 2 guys showcase mode that they put on these. This is 2 guys 16 which is pretty cool. Let's get the entrances. There's nothing special with these entrances, just them coming out. The Jake the Snake one was, because he was injured. This one's not anything different either. So, we'll go straight into the match. I think it's actually a cutscene to start off. Okay, I think. Okay. Well, this should be quite the contest, Gary. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Bret the Hitman Hart, finally going to be one on one. This is a rivalry that has been brewing for several weeks now. Well, you're right about that. They are a long time coming, and it's finally here. Stone Cold Steve Austin, the Rattlesnake, going against the best there is, the best there was, best there ever will be. This should be great. Bret the Hitman Hart, the consummate wrestler, scientific, fundamentally Sam Austin, likes to brawl, oh, likes, oh, yeah. to, likes to fight. Oh, look at this. Look at this stare down. Are either one of these guys going to be intimidated, JR? I don't think so. Austin trying to get into Hart's head. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> oh. oh, 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 oh. You don't flip off the hit, man. <laughs> Here they go. The black heart of the Texan. Father of Otaya. And it's Brent the hitman Hart. Well, I had the advantage momentarily. Austin now reverses it. Referee asked for a clean break. Whoa. Uh -oh. I wouldn't want to be the referee in this match, would you, JR? Absolutely not. Uh oh. Oh. I think Jim is going to flare really quick. Well, the, the tension, you can feel the tension when these men came to the ring. You knew this was going to be special. What a stone Here we go. First punch to, hey. to make Bret hey, Bret Hart. Hey, Oh, dang it. We got the wrong one. Bret Hart with the offense. And his attack. Misses. Can I do it? 
His strikes have a little extra on him tonight. Okay. Oh, what a shot! Great ring presence. Too. I hit him with a stun gun, like he tells me to. You guys know what a stun gun is? Then you're about to see. Oh, so, oh come on! I've already unlocked all the characters for these moments. And if you guys oh, want me to, I can do the bonus matches that are on here too. And his attack misses. Well, no one ever said the Stone Cold Stone Gun. Flash. Bang. And he will do anything. Dead for heart. And folks, I mean I do that. anything to one, intimidate two, an three. opponent. I'm not so sure Bret Hart can be intimidated by anyone. He can't be intimidated, Jr. But that's not the issue here. The issue is so, how much so ring so rust does Bret Hart possess. He thinks, Time is a great equalizer, King. Yeah, Jr. So we'll see how long it'll take Bret to get back in that groove, to get all his timing back. You can train in the gym all you want, but this is where it counts, right here. Hey, crowd. Not the crowd. Yeah. Hey, Bret. Here we go with a little taunting. Second time to charm. Let's see on the announce table. And there's the reversal from Fred Hart. Reversed. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Come on, Brett. Yep, that's the reversal by Fred Hart. And he's headed back in. You can almost see the air rush out of Brett's body. Now Austin needs to capitalize here. Right, another high impact. Austin should go for the lungs, the back, dry the air out of it. I don't care how much training you've been undergoing. There's nothing like taking punishment. There's no training that's going to prepare you for Bang. this kind of physicality. Look at nice this. head. Cold Steve Austin thinks he's in charge here, Jr. Yeah, but I think the Bret Hart's going to go. Oh. Is. Hart trying to get control of the match now. Oh, Hart, I push the girl, Tom. The Take the ring, folks. Boy. The Take it. Oh, man, look at this, JR. Bookman down. Oh, the hitman, Bret Hart. Benjamin at ringside. Okay, I can do that. JR, you're right, King. Steve Austin has proven tonight that the rattlesnake is a lot more than a schoolyard bully. Well, he punished the hitman's upper body early, and he's been relentless despite Bret Hart kicking out so often. I'm not even pinned, but only in trouble kicking out. Sometimes I question this. Over the top you go, Brett. And that shot Damn was it, it rings up. Good with that. Simple. Steve Austin with the offense. He's showing no signs of letting up. Okay, here's one thing I hate about the Look at the signature. Look, this is a signature. We know what this is. A Luthes press. Followed by a Luthes press is a finisher. I'm not sure I can watch this. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Uh oh, I think that really hurt his arm. You can talk. Hi. My brother's here. Go past the screen quick. Hi. So, go past the screen quick. So oh, man. Be careful. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. You know what I'm doing, right? In the showcase. There's clearly something in the stunner. I'm real hard in the ring. I'm not it's sure I can watch hard. this. This could be big. Yeah, I can do that. I don't understand, guys. I've never told people to do that. Not not under any offense. I really don't He's understand. He's in full that. on attack mode now. What? Move you to see. I've never seen something. I'm going to work on the net now. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. Gun the match right? becomes almost yeah. secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. I've done that as an achievement. Let me tell you, folks. He's putting on a okay. clinic. But I will do it. Do a stun gun. And next to the stunner. Yeah, of course it's to do. I love the stun gun. Bang. And he oh, I didn't know. Down. He didn't Boy, he's really done his homework for this match. Austin! 
No! Who Steve Austin? I'll listen to the one version of it. On the verge of victory. The kick out. This oh, wake up, Taunt. Great, I can I do that. Believe it. He just won't go away. Oh. Oh, I love that movie. Wake up, Taunt. I think that's funny, that movie. Here you go, Stone Cold. Do it. Oh, he's going for it. Million Dollar Dream. Can he do it? Oh, look at this. I can't see you in the chaos of the Million Dollar Dream. Million Dollar Dream is countered by Hart. One, two, three. And press the Hitman Hart countered Austin and pins the last state. The only time I've ever seen him do I mean, I always forget about the moon part of the game. But usually he only does it Sunday. So that was the end of the showcase for right now. Well, no fun with you, Gina, because it started. Yeah. But I never realized about that he can do the moon part of the game.